In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to edit your profile. The first step is just to log in to your volleyballrecruits.net account. Um, the login information is usually the player email, so whatever you guys chose when you registered for volleyballrecruits.net, that player email is your login information, so make sure you keep track of that. Um, when you log in, you'll be brought to this dashboard page, and the most important box is this box right here, is your profile complete. And there's check marks next to each of these tasks, um, s indicating that you have completed the task. If you haven't done something, for example, uploaded a transcript or video or picture, sent messages, you'll have an X mark next to each of these items. So this is kind of how you know where you are in, um, you know, filling out your profile and determining whether or not it's complete. When you're ready to edit your profile, you go to the My Profile tab and click Edit. And the profile is broken up into two different sections. On the left, you have your picture, your transcripts, and then any video that you've uploaded to the player profile. Um, and then on the right is all of your information. So this includes your contact information, parents information, volleyball information, volleyball statistics, what club team you play for, um, any camps and tournaments that you're going to be attending, and then all of your academic information. It's really important that all of these fields are filled out because all of these fields are searchable on the college coaches end as well. And um, these fields are here for a reason. We did a lot of consulting with college coaches when we were developing volleyballrecruits.net and these are all the things that they need to know about you. So, you know, definitely do your best to make sure that your profile is complete. Now, say for example you are, you know, a freshman or a sophomore and you don't have your, you know, obviously your SAT information, um, that's okay. Coaches understand that these things happen at certain times in the recruiting process, but the idea is that you just want to make sure that when you do have updated information that you keep it updated. Same thing goes if you are switching club programs or you have a new coach or you know, new phone numbers, you guys move and so your address changes. Um, just make sure, again, that you are keeping all of your information accurate and up-to-date. On the left, uh, this is where you upload your picture, and I'm actually going to show you how to do that. Obviously, you have to have a picture saved to your computer first, but the process is go to browse your computer, um, find your picture, this is the one that we have, hit open, and then hit upload. And boom, there it is. Uh, transcripts work the same way. You hit browse and I saved my transcript on the desktop or let's see down here find your transcript I named mine transcript hit open and hit save here we go now we have your transcript and then obviously you want to upload video. There's going to be a separate tutorial on how you do that, um, but just so you guys see quickly where it is, um, you would upload your video by going to the My Videos section. All right, once all of your information is on your player profile, it's really important that you guys come down here and hit Save. If you browse away from the player profile without hitting Save, you're going to lose all of your information, so make sure um, that you hit Save. One other thing that I want to mention is the schools of interest. If you have any schools that you're really, really interested in, um, this is uh, something that you could fill out. Um, and it's not necessary. The only people who see this schools of interest are the coach that you sent it to, and then obviously it shows up on your player profile, but it's not viewable to anybody else who's not that coach. Um, just so you guys keep that in mind. And that's how you edit your player profile. Thank you very much.